Welcome again folks to the SSE Wind Factory near the M74 at Moffat. Ask yourself, the coming winter many experts believe will be as cold as the last two. Record low temperatures, harsh weather, old folk having to turn up the heating which they really can't afford to pay. Fuel poverty in Scotland under an SNP government who claim to be the, the leaders of Scotland and independence and everybody would be better off if we were not in the UK. Now, this is a 152 turbine wind factory, the largest in Europe. Only White Lee close by with 140 turbines can equal this. What you see before you is only a small size section of the entirety of this wind farm. Again, I will rephrase a uh, wind factory. These are symbols of corporate greed. These greedy corporations are paid more when these things do not turn than when they do. Six figure sums, six, seven figure sums per site are paid out in a time of austerity and economic hardship. These companies laugh all the way to the bank while they rape and pillage wild Scottish land. No matter how many of these things are built by 2020, Scotland's energy problems will not be resolved by these things alone. Cash cows and M, greedy landowners, greedy corporations, SNP government taken in line hook and sinker by a so-called green energy policy. Look before you, there's tens of thousands of trees have been felled and cleared here. The land has been hit by what would appear to be a nuclear explosion. All we see now is white spindly turbines. 495 feet tall, can be seen for 50 miles and beyond in all directions on a clear day. Is this the Scotland you want by 2020? You leave your door, you drive to your work, you go anywhere, you will see these white spindly turbines making huge amounts of profit for greedy energy companies who continuously raise your bills and make you pay for the construction of these things in the first place. By next year, your electricity bill will have risen by 20% just to pay for wind turbines. The government could lose the next election based on what is happening to Scotland and the destruction of wild land. People will soon see this, so there'll be no avoiding it if this continues in the current scale. Corporate greed on a grand scale.